Today, we're in the European side of Istanbul, along the Bosphorus Strait. We'll explore the neighborhoods of Besiktas and Nishantashi. We're going to start off by taking a cable car from Tash Ishla to Mashka Park. This cable line began operating in April 1993 to get people quicker from Mashka Park, also known as Love Park, to the marriage office. So basically you have to scan your way out. So if you don't have your car or you don't pay, you're just basically stuck in here. Mashka Democracy Park was built in the 1990s as an informal place for lovers to meet. It was renovated in 1993, the same year that the cable car was built. Nishintashi means aiming stone. It was named that because the Ottomans built these tall, narrow stones in which they would carve in their archery records. It would have things like the archer's name, the date, and the distance the arrow went. Today, it's an upscale luxury area with stores such as Louis Vuitton and Prada. One pot. Have you fixed the little small habit? How much? Uh, how much? Five? Five? Mm -hmm. Four. We'll get a bigger one. Yeah. Come on. The dogs are. Just a card, Derem. Just a card, Derem. Bant the shaker, Derem. We just got our pot, and I was really, I was really sad because I didn't think we'd see them because we haven't seen any like souvenir shops but we walked through one of the little shops and this is like a sewing store and that's where we got our pouch. Vodafone Park has a capacity of about 42,000 people. It's home to the Besiktas Gymnastics Club or BJK which was founded in 1903. It's one of the big three in Turkey and it's the only club that has had an undefeated season. It's the first registered club in Turkey to have the star and the crescent on its uniforms. They are 16-time Turkish Super League champions, and it's a cool time to be here because they're coming off of winning the Turkish Super League for the 2020 to 2021 season. In this area of Besiktas, you can find the club's flag and eagles all over the place. Now we're in the heart of Besiktas. It is filled with tons of people, plenty of restaurants and shops, and some local market stands. We've stopped in to get some food and we got two grilled chicken sandwiches with veggies and french fries and it looks delicious so we're gonna dig in. We hope we showed you some parts of Istanbul that you didn't know about previously. Thank you so much for watching. This is Witty Travels. What, what could possibly, possibly be next? next?